In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a timer to the ball game and a win scene. The starting point for this tutorial is the file from the end of the previous tutorial in which I showed you how to use the Blender Global Dictionary. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Select the empty, click the plus to open up the properties panel, click the add game property button, call the new property time, change its type to timer and click to display in the debug area. Click the render button and start the game engine. Now we get the time elapsed but as the level is reset the timer is reset. To cure the problem of the timer being reset I'm going to use the global dictionary. Click on the browse text button, select the update script, highlight the line in which the score is initialized, right click and copy, press enter, right click and paste and change score to timer. I'm going to copy the line I just added, highlight it, right click, copy, and I'm going to paste it into the update function. Right click, paste. I'm going to change the 0 to 1 60th, which as a decimal is 0 0.0167. And I'm going to change the operator to plus equals, which will add 1 60th 60 times a second to the timer. I'm going to copy this line and paste it below. And then I'm going to change score to the time property of the empty. And that will be updated with the timer property of the global dictionary. Change the type of the property time to float. Now when we start the game, and the ball collides with the plane, causing the scene to be reset. The timer is not reset. Next, I'm going to do something when the time reaches a certain value or the score reaches a target score. Drag to close the properties panel. Now I can do this by adding a property sensor or an expression controller. I'm going to do both methods. First, I'm going to use an expression controller. The expression will be time greater than 5 and when that happens I want to simply quit the game for now connect the logic bricks up start the game engine and after 5 seconds it should quit the game before I set a target for the score I'm going to create a win scene before I do that, I'm going to select the camera and in the view menu, align view, align active camera to view will move the camera so that it sees what we are seeing. Press G to grab followed by Z and Z again will move the camera in its local Z direction, effectively zooming back. Click the add new scene button, add a new empty scene, call the new scene win add camera click the object properties and set the z location to five blender units add lamp hemi set its z location to five in the view menu change the view to the camera view change the render to blender game add text Use the tip of the red arrow to move the text across, the tip of the green arrow to move it down a bit. Go into edit mode, delete the text, type U1, back into object mode. In the object menu, convert the text to mesh. Click the browse scene button to go back to the original game scene. Select the empty. I'm going to close up some of the logic bricks, 
and add a property sensor, an AND controller, and a scene actuator. And scroll down a bit. If the property is of type integer whole number, then equals works fine. If it's float, use interval. The target score I'm going to set to 15, but they could pass that by scoring two tens, so I'm going to put 20 for the maximum. Connect that up and change the mode of the scene actuator to set scene and select the wind scene. We need to give more time to get the 15 points. I'm going to up it to 30 seconds. Start the game engine. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file, the script file and the end file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.